Hi, I'm Slack, this is Tony, and welcome to Smog Vlog. Today we're going to be reviewing a bunch of juices from the Drippy Lee range. Alright, so welcome back in the room guys. Like we said, Drippy Lee range, uh, or at least a whole bunch of them. There's going to be like seven or eight juices here. Yeah, so we hooked up with John at the expo way back last year. Um, and we were talking to him about his juices and tried some out. And we are all really, really impressed with all of them. I mean, different juices, but all really, really good quality. And uh, yeah, so he hooked us up with some review stuff, which finally we're getting around to doing. Now, usually at the start of reviews, we're going to tell you which order we're going to run them in. There's so many here that we're actually not going to bother with that. Hopefully something's going to pop up on the screen now. So you go, no, yeah, hopefully it will. And that way you will know which bit. So if there's one juice in particular you're after, you know where to skip to. As always, you know, time codes. Right, guys, like. telling you about our testing methodology about how we do these e-juice reviews. I will be rocking the iJust S with the 0 0.18 ohm stainless steel coils in there. Slack will be rocking the Royal Hunter with dual Claptons, not twisted. The range of these juices are all 80-20, you know, they're heavy on the VG, they are designed for drippers, but you know, a lot of these tanks can sort of take that 80-20 mix, we find that this can, so you know, we were going to test it out across both, see what our experiences are like. Uh, for all of these juices, we're rocking them in 0.3 mg nicotine, however they are available in 0.3 and 6 mg nicotine, perhaps more, but that's the ones we've seen okay, so Okay guys, but moving along now to our first contestant is... This one. Pounding Clouds. Um, this is the one that I think they're most famous for. It's very recognisable with this sort of food-esque like you know affair going on. And uh, it's certainly the first ones we've heard of. Uh, it's really cool. We're just going to take a quick look inside. It's not worth diving down for. But you know, the, the quality is awesome. Have one of them. Thank you. So you get your unicorn bottle to do some mixing in. That will become relevant in a minute. You get this, this is your pound cake, you know, it's sort of Madeira cake type e juice. Um, and then you get as well as some funky confetti, which I might eat later because I haven't eaten yet today. Um, you get a blueberry constant uh, fucking thing. You get a blueberry concentrate to mix in and a strawberry concentrate to mix in. Obviously, dunk them in the unicorn bottle to sort of, you know, give them time to meld the flavours quite nicely. Anyway, we're going to load up our tanks and drippers and uh, we'll be back in a mo. Right, okay, welcome back. We are all juiced up, ready to go. Drippy Lee, Pounding Clouds. Now, this is like the base flavour. There's also the strawberry and the blueberry, but we'll get to that in time. We're just going to hit the base flavour, sort of describe our experience with that. Uh, nice thick liquid, as we said, 80-20, so it's nice loading it up on the dripper here. Um, but yeah, let's hit it and see what it's got. Lovely thick clouds, which you would expect from an 8020. Rich and smooth. Um, yeah, it really is. Hmm. Yeah, it's like a very sort of cakey taste, but not too dry. As so you do get, I find, with some sort of cake and biscuity things, they can be quite a dry, harsh vape. This is quite nice and smooth. I think that richness sort of like helps it along. Like a sponge cake, don't imagine like a, a Christmas cake or a... a birthday cake or a wedding cake just like the sponge just that sort of rich buttery flavor yeah so pound cake itself is actually a pound of butter pound of flour a pound of sugar i think or something and you mix it all together uh, i've actually cooked that myself uh, it's like my one adventure into making cakes because i quite like eating cakes but i'm too lazy to do it um actually this tastes a hell of a lot nicer uh, than my cake experience um it's more akin to like a madeira cake something like that you know like a very nice quality one Yeah, almost buttery exhaling through the nose. You get that sort of real buttery cake, cookie dough-ish, something like that, that <clears> sort <throat> of area. <laughs> really nice on its own. I'm going to apologise right now if my stomach starts growling at the microphone because this is making me feel hungry. 
with that being said, I mean, this is just sort of like, like Slack said, the, the base to the strawberry and the blueberry, the, the shots that are also included in the packaging. So for now, we'll swap for Bro Science and see what we think. Yeah, see how our experience differs across the devices. Yeah, uh, the, the taste is slightly different across the two, but obviously coil types and it's Canthol versus stainless steel. Um, I think I prefer the dripper based on that first hit. Not noticing a, hell of a whole hell of a lot myself. It tastes exactly the same. Second hit, yeah, it's, it's yeah more similar. <laughs> this is going to be one of those ones that, that performs equally across both as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I would have to agree. It's got a nice sort of smooth buttery taste to it and uh, yeah, it is very nice on its own but let's mix it up a bit and we're going to try out one of the other flavours mixed in which we actually did uh, a moment ago. Um, so I guess we'll go with strawberry first and see how that rolls. Okay, so we've loaded up with strawberry now as well as the sort of pound cake flavour. So we pre-mixed these earlier to give them a little bit of time together. Obviously, as with all juices, some of them are shake and vape, some benefit with a bit of steeping and all of that is going to depend on your taste you know, and your preferences just like the quantities you use how much strawberry you add you can add a little bit add a lot you know to get it to your flavor add strawberry and blueberry at the same time if you want to go crazy you know that's one of the good things about this you can tailor it to your needs without the need to actually get into e-juice making yourself but with that said let's just hit the strawberry and see what we've got Fresh strawberries. Real strawberries. Yeah, so it, is, it tastes very much like having chunks of real strawberry with that pound cake taste. You know, that pound cake taste is still there and very strong, um, but you're getting like, you know, a chunk of strawberry in with the bite, you know, yeah. it's very realistic. Um, Not like jam that you'd normally expect to be put in the middle of like a, a sponge uh this is more like chopped strawberries in it, it it's i don't think i've had that before well i mean the, the clouds are just ridiculous like we're disappearing here this is the first juice we're still on here. <laughs> first juice second part right and swapping for science Yeah, same experience again, even with that strawberry coming through on the tank. So a lot of your tank can handle 80, 20 juices, which a lot of them can. I just S certainly can. Then, uh, you know, the experience seems very equal. I think the real draw for, the, for this e-juice is the fact that it, it comes in that those separate parts, like you've got the concentrate, and so that you can mix it to your own personal preference, like Slack said earlier. That is the real draw here. along with the fact that I've got delicious cake flavour in my mouth. Mm. Cake in your cake, Carl. And we've just loaded up with blueberry, the last one in this, this first juice, uh, which, yeah, is bizarre. Um, yeah, disappearing in the fog already. Um, but anyway, hit some blueberries, see what we got. Yeah, blueberries, great. Well, that's a start. It tastes like blueberries. <laughs> really, it's somewhere. It's somewhere between real blueberries and sort of almost candied blueberries or blueberry-flavored stuff. You know, but it works really well with that pound cake. It's a really nice mm. taste. If you like blueberries, then yeah, this is good. Like Slack said, it's somewhere between the, the candied blueberry and an actual blueberry or blueberry flavour. Because you've got the sweetness of, of that pound cake, it's quite difficult to discern which it is. It would probably be a good idea to, to vape it by itself and then you'd have an actual idea. But then that would detract from the overall flavour of this blueberry pound cake flavour, which is fucking gorgeous. Swapping now for Bro Science. Yeah, again, blueberries coming through exactly the same here as it was in the dripper, which is nice. 
I think because the constituent parts, the the the, the base flavour being that pound cake flavour, and you're just chucking uh, concentrate on top of it, it it it's all the same sort of stuff. So the experience across tank and dripper have been the same for for each, which is uh, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, definitely. One other thing that I found quite interesting with the experience across each of them has been the throat hit. It's been like really nice and velvety. It's not harsh. Uh, it's the sort of thing I go through where you know you're having a vape because you can feel it, but not in any harsh sort of way. So yeah, really good. And even with you know fairly recently mixed, so we've not had a lot of time to steep these here, um, and it's still nice and smooth. You know, some stuff when you concentrates put straight in you know you get that harsh throat hit which is why you let them steep but that's not here what we'll probably do is once we finish the review and uh, you know several days have passed before we finished editing it we'll probably overlay our, our experience once we've had some time to let these steep see if anything changes uh, i don't think it will too much blueberry and strawberry tend to be shake and vape type concentrates so hopefully that experience will be sort of fairly stable okay guys that was that first three-parter probably about wrapped up we're having trouble seeing the camera now so it's probably about a good time to air the room cup of tea palette cleanser and then we'll be back with the next one okay and we're back the room is vaguely cleared out and this time we're back with drip scotty so yeah here it is in all its glory so i uh, pop the tin even though Oh, we're in. Oh, we're in. So inside you get another unicorn bottle, maybe a 30 miller and a 60 mil bottle of juice there. So we've already got one of these open and on the go, which we've already loaded up because, yeah, Blue Peter Styley, here's one we made earlier. Hold that thought. He, uh, he just needs to go and get his sticky back plastic. Right, like the man said, we've already loaded up. I'm loaded, he's loaded. This is an almond biscotti flavour. Yeah, and that's it. That's it. Not really getting almond. It's a slight flavour of our almond. Yeah, I think the sort of dryness of the toasted almond may be in there. But yeah, definitely getting some biscotti through. It's it definitely you can tell it's a drippy Lee juice. It's it's kind of similar. Not not same tasting, but you know, the kind of flavours in there seem very familiar from the uh pounding clouds that we've just tried. Now this is a completely clean build, you know, clean coils, clean wick, uh cleaned out the tank, you know, it, it's not a residual flavour, it's just you know, obviously some core components remain the same. It's the same company, so yeah. It's not beyond the realms of possibility that the uh few constituent parts in it will will be shared across different flavours. Uh, with that being said, I mean, I'm still getting that slight hint of almond and looking at the picture on the tin, it's not a huge leap to get to the biscotti flavour. Ah, uh, almond through the nose. Nasal <laughs> exhale. And it is just a real sort of intense hit of almonds. Anyone else fucking wonder where he was going with that one? <laughs> <laughs> As yeah, with, no, I see where you're coming from now, sorry. As with the other juices as well, the throat here is nice and smooth, yeah, even though you know, you've got the dry toasted almond sort of flavour going on, you're not getting a dry throat hit from it, you know, the throat here is again very smooth, the clouds are again quite big, and we've actually had to open a through draft here, because you know, this, these are cloud bastards, they really are. <laughs> okay, time for the swap. Not tipping it. Oh, I think I'm getting more biscotti flavour out of here than I am on the dripper. Yeah, this, uh, the, the dripper seems quite heavily leaning towards that almond. Yeah, yeah. Um, still on the tank, I'm getting more sort of almond through the nose when I exhale through the nose. However, the, the overwhelming thing is, is more you know, biscotti uh, than I was getting on the dripper. It's 
So what it boils down to is if you're an almond lover or you, you like biscotti, go for this. It's quite nice. Yeah, and despite it, you know, biscotti and the almonds sort of generally being quite a dry, harsh sort of thing, it doesn't vape dry or harsh. It is again that nice sort of smooth and yeah, cloud for days. Next. Right, okay, we're back and all refreshed and ready to go. This time, crunchy cream donut, churro donut flavour uh, somewhere there. There, there, there. It is. Yeah, look at it. Look at it go. Uh, definitely looks nothing like Krispy Kreme. Uh, yeah, copyright hashtag TM. Um, anyway, churros, so cinnamon coated donut, basically. Oh, money shot. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, cinnamon donut, let's give it a hit. Nice, yeah. Getting the full on taste of a cinnamon donut, but how? Um, really smooth throat hit. Cinnamon, it, for me, I love cinnamon, but it is, I find in vaping it, it tends to be too harsh, too strong, too overpowering, and give you that real dry, burning throat hit. Uh, here, that, that's not apparent. You know, I've not felt any throat hit from it any more than the other juices, and you just get a nice cinnamon taste. To be honest with you, that's what you're expecting with a lovely, delicious j donut. Donut. <laughs> with a lovely, delicious donut. I don't want a donut to be attacking my throat. I want it to be soft and velvety and just go down nicely. <laughs> okay, guys, don't panic. I've just had a, the battery die on the iJust S, so we've moved over to the G320 vaping at 40 watt. Now we're going to swap for the Bro Sciences. So. Yeah, tastes good again. It's a sort of comparable experience across the two devices. Like Slack said earlier, that, that cinnamon flavour can sometimes be a bit of a double-edged sword. They've hit it just right with this one. It, it, it melds so nicely with that donut flavour and the sweet, sugary deliciousness that it is. It, it just all melts into a, apparently a churro, which I think I've had. Yeah, I've definitely had uh, all over America. Um, yeah, awesome. Uh, really good. Uh, and yeah, it's a genuine surprise to have something that has a cinnamon flavour to it that is just a nice subtle touch. You know, you get the flavour, but you don't get that harshness. It's good. One of the things that puts me off a lot of cinnamon juices is just that harsh throat. It's good for one or two hits, and after that, it's just like, uncomfortable. Whereas here, I would be pretty comfortable all day vaping this from the brief experience I've had on this so far okay we're gonna go change some more batteries clean everything out and uh, we'll be back in a mo and back once again with the other one in the crunchy cream donuts we've got frosted lemon cream donut Whoa, remembered it all in one <laughs> excellent yeah so without further ado um yeah open the bottle there, there was like a real strong smell of lemons uh, and it smells nice so let's hit it while he's hitting it, I'll interject here with it's sometimes worrying when you open a bottle like that and it's just full on fucking lemon in, in, in your face. Literally. <laughs> it's really smooth. But vaping it, it is not as strong as the bottle suggests. Yeah, the lemon's quite... Not subtle, you definitely know it's lemon, but it's not overpowering. It doesn't taste sort of cheap or like washing up liquid or anything like that that you sometimes worry about with lemon flavours. But yeah, it's that lemon cream, you know, you're really getting the sort of creaminess. It's awesome. You've got to work hard to pick out the sort of donut bakery sort of flavour but it, it is there just at the sides yeah to me this is more subtle than the donut in terms of the cake there lemon drizzle cake think lemon drizzle cake this tastes just like that it, it's awesome where the cake is a sort of byproduct, and it's that lemon and frosting that sort of thing going on that that's what really at the forefront here but not in an overpowering way no not at all They're, they've struck the balance so perfectly with this e-juice it, it just delivers How's it through the nose? Lemony. How's it on the hand? Yeah, wonderful. 
Yeah, having just keep the power up a bit on the dripper, yeah, the, the flavour is still equally smooth, but you know, you're getting a, just a bit more flavour delivery there. It's uh, yeah, just still really nice. Okay, guys, it's about that time that we swap for the Bro Science. Z -z -z -z. Yeah, lemony again. I think on this one, maybe because I've kicked the power up, I'm getting a bit more flavour through the dripper. However, the flavour itself, the taste experience is the same. The throat hit is still nice and smooth. It is just a sort of pleasurable experience. Like the man said, it is probably a touch more flavourful on the dripper, but it's barely noticeable. still delivering that all important lemony goodness to you so that probably about wraps this one up i think it's about time we move on to the next right guys time to move on to the next one nola dolce de banana and oats Yeah, so this is from a range of sort of granola-based e-liquids, and uh, you know, there's several. You've got like apple and a bunch of others, hopefully overlay. Um, but yeah, this is the caramel banana. Um, Hurry up! Oh, all right, okay, we're hurrying. <laughs> oh, it's so good. The astute ones out there might detect that I was a bit hasty to sort of get started with this. That's because when I cracked the bottle open, it smelled absolutely delicious. So the banana, sorry, the banana in here really reminds me of those little sort of chewy sweets. You know, you get the t back in the day, they were two penny sweets. They're probably, I don't know, a hundred pounds each now or something like that whatever but yeah it really does taste like that sort of banana it's not trying to do like a very fresh banana um it is a sweetie you know caramel banana and it works so well the interesting thing about this juice though is that you've got the granola there with it and while on the intake it is it is all about the banana just at the sides that as you exhale you get that slight sort of granola -y sort of taste it's quite delicious yeah and despite granola itself being quite a dry thing this is again not a dry vape it's still buttery smooth on the inhale and exhale and it just feels really nice vaping it and the flavor is gorgeous okay swapping for science see how the experience varies Bananas definitely turned up a notch on the dripper. Yeah, it's the same sort of experience as the flavour's just a little bit down on this tank. Now, you're still getting that same banana flavour, you know, like the banana sweeties. Um, but, you know, mixing with the oats and the granola on its way out. But, yeah, it is just delicious still. While, while the banana is stepped up on the dripper, if you exhale through the nose on the dripper, the, the granola really does make itself known. Mmm. Okay, that was the Nola Dolce de Banana. It's awesome. If you like those banana sweets uh, or granola, it's a really good flavour. Certainly piqued my interest. I think I'm going to try and check out the rest of that range at a later date. Um, but for now, moving on to the next one. And we're back again with Mr. Waffle Cone. There he is in all his glory. Um, we're loaded up and ready to go. So let's hit it. It's delicious, it's really smooth and creamy. Smooth and creamy, but you just said that. Yeah, it's really tasty, it's really smooth and creamy. If it wasn't for the picture of the ice cream cone on the packaging, I would have probably not guessed ice cream cone. Smooth and creamy, yeah, delicious, yeah, it's really, really tasty, but I just don't really know what the taste is you know it, it's fairly nondescript but a nice taste it's very strange i've definitely had worse e-juices that i couldn't place the flavor of 
but this isn't one of them. This this is just velvety smooth. I mean, yeah, I could probably get to the vanilla. In terms of the waffle cone, though, a freshly made waffle cone, not so much. Uh, and they do say that it's a fresh bean. Uh, is it a fresh, vanilla bean ice cream? A vanilla bean ice cream. It's nice. Yeah, I can kind of pick up the vanilla bean ice cream, mainly because I've mixed my own e juices, and that's why the ingredients I use a lot. But as an overall taste, it just comes out with this nice velvety. It's very tasty, but very nondescript sort of taste. Um, certainly lends itself to being an all-day bake. Each hit I've been taking, the taste has sort of varied a little bit. Mm. I'm picking up different elements. Some elements, I guess, it's the ice cream. Some's going to be that waffly sort of thing. This could very well translate to one of those e-juices that would benefit from steeping so that the flavour can develop more. Yeah, personally I don't know if that's uh, going to be true because the flavour that's coming out is actually delicious. You know, usually when stuff needs steeping, you know, there's a sort of chemically taste to it. Also, it doesn't taste quite right. Here, it's got a really delicious flavour to it and that can't be an accident. This is going to be what we're going for. I would have thought, uh, I guess we'll report back in the next vlog. But for now, swap for bro science. We get a bit more waffle cone out of this, you know, the ice cream cone. Oh no, gone again. <laughs> yeah, just back to that velvety smooth, really nice taste, really hard to place. Yeah, tastes exactly the same on the dripper as it does in the tank. Well, right, okay, I guess there we have it from Mr. Waffle Cone. Um, I'm not really sure, but I definitely like it. That's what I'm taking away from yeah. this. If it was a blind taste test, I would not have guessed at that. I don't even know what I would have guessed at. Just really nice. I don't know. I, I'm not even going to have stupid guesses. It's just tasty, but we don't know why. Last one, Slack's got my box. Here we are, fortune cookie. Comes in the authentic fortune cookie box. Look at it go. Let's just have a quick look inside and uh, see what's in the box. He's going into my box. So there we go, our fortune cookie juice, uh, 60 mil thereof, uh, top for it. And here's our fortune. You have a wonderful sense of humor. Uh, they must have seen the outtake uh, and some more packaging, which we've seen before. I'm gonna eat that later. But anyway, it's time for fortune cookie. Now, fortune cookies themselves tend to be fairly bland, but let's see what we can do with a fortune cookie e-juice. It's really sweet, it's really creamy. It's nice. Mm. And through the nose, it's exactly like fortune cookie. I wouldn't really say it's exactly like Fortune Cookie on the inhale and exhale normally, but yeah, through the nose, Fortune Cookie. Yeah, through the nose. Absolutely. Vaping it normally though. It's nice, but similarly to the last one, in a blind taste test, I'd have trouble. But actually vaping it through the nose and knowing what I'm supposed to be vaping, yeah. I think that tastes pretty good, actually. I yeah. Can't, I can't say I've actually vaped Fortune Cookie before. Yeah, where Fortune Cookies themselves, they're, they're quite dry and quite bland. You get this sort of rich creaminess that's been sort of coming across all of these juices, and it definitely makes it more interesting than a regular Fortune Cookie. Mm. Uh, it certainly seems to be another one where the flavour wanders. Each hit sort of varies. Uh, it's not the same hit after hit, which is good. Keeps it more interesting. Swapping for science. See Swap how on. the hit varies across devices. Well, I just uh, clean your mod up. Your box. So, I've got a couple over. I've got a couple of other ones over there. You can do afterwards. Yeah, cleaning his box up. Yeah, if anything, a bit more fortune cookie-ish. 
through here. The flavour's turned down a bit, but the, I think more authentic to my memory of fortune cookies. It has been about a year since I last had a fortune cookie. But, yeah, the flavour's there. Interesting, seeing as that's what I was about to say about this. it seemed, The flavour seems turned down a bit. Back again, though, through the nose. I like why I had to stop and look at you like, are you fucking crazy? <laughs> what are you talking about? There we go, back in the room. <laughs> well, that was Fortune Cookie, and yeah, really nice and smooth and velvety again. Uh, not dry like you would expect with a Fortune Cookie, because they are horribly dry, the actual biscuits themselves. But yeah, the vape is not. It is and not. that about brings us to the end of this review. So yeah, having vaped our way through the range, uh, there was not a bad one amongst the lot. All of them being 80-20 were all velvety smooth to vape and the flavour was just delicious throughout. Yeah, as far as American made e-juices go, these have been a fucking lovely selection. One thing to remember is that taste and flavour is you know, completely subjective. So you know, if there's something that looks interesting in there for you, give it a go because we really enjoyed them all. But obviously flavour will vary. Talking of which, Tony, what do you think your favourite was? I think I'd have to go for that, the Drippy Lee with the blueberry and the strawberry. Just I fucking love both of those. And the crunchy cream lemon donut one. That was, that was a, quite a surprise e-juice as far as I'm concerned. I wasn't expecting greatness and uh, it actually hit the spot for me. What about you? Yeah, so clear winner for me was the Nola. Um, it was just delicious, that banana-y goodness going on in there. Um, it worked really well together. So velvety smooth. In fact, the whole range was velvety smooth. It's kind of tough to choose favourites. Um, but yeah, that Nola, because of that banana, I just loved it. I do love a good banana e-juice. I think for me, though, the surprise one that I, I really enjoyed was the churro. You know, that cinnamon kick without it being a burn, but just having that nice, subtle flavour. Um, it's again, really does lend itself to an all-day one, which is so rare for cinnamon. For me, I love cinnamon, but yeah, two or three hits, I'm like, that's done for the day. This, I, I just can't wait to vape some more of it. And don't get us wrong about this. I mean, they they were all fantastic e-juices, and we still have them. I mean, we're not going to be getting rid of them, so we're both going to steadily work our way through them. It's just we know where we're going to be starting. So our thanks go out to John for hooking us up with these e-juices. Yeah, really impressed with the range. Well done. Uh, he's really, really awesome guy. We spent a lot of time talking to him. He's you know big into vape advocacy, and you know, obviously e-juice production is at another level. Is just superb. So yeah, really nice guy. Thanks again, John. Really appreciate it. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining us for this e-juice review. We hope you like what you're seeing and what we're doing for you. If you do, please drop a like and do the whole subscribe thing because it helps us out a lot. Also, follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We are quite chatty. Also, if you've got any questions about any of these e-juices or anything else, hit us up in the comments section below. Find us on social media. While you're on social media, give us a share because sharing is caring. And guys, thanks for watching Smog Vlog. Okay. <laughs> Relax. Cool. Cool. Royal Hunter. Dual Clapsons. Not twisted. Why did you have to go say that word? Out loud. Right guys, telling you about testing Mel's meth Right guys, telling you about meth. You haven't told me. I Royal did. Hunter? I just told you. The Royal Hunter. Royal Hunter with dual Clapsons, not twisted. Right, okay, so, yeah. Well, I don't, what, are you, what are you looking at then? Oh, the size of my head. It hasn't changed. Okay. We'll probably save that for yeah. when we're back in. Oh, fucking hell. Here, take this back. Oh, <laughs> oh thanks. Yeah, I'll just take it by the juicy bit. <laughs> Give the dirty baby back. <laughs> <laughs> Food, food. <laughs> <laughs> Be gone from my sight. <laughs>
Right. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, mother Ready? shot. Yeah. Could you use the uh, the nick shot of the other one with drippy, uh, the drippy leg, the pound cake? You don't need it. It's got nicotine in it. With this one. So it's just use the flavour concentrate in this one. Not nick. Did just, I say nick? Yeah. Sorry. That was, yeah, you could do, but... I wonder why you were saying nick. I'm like... It's not Nick, it's a flea of concentrate. That's why I wonder why you said Nick. Why, why the fuck are you going on about, you idiot? <laughs> exactly. I'm glad we're on the same page now. Right, okay, back in the room. This time it's crunchy cream, not crispy cream. There we go. Typically I had to be wearing a white shirt for the juice review. Of course, well done. <laughs> Now I remember why I don't drink fizzy pop when doing reviews. <laughs> glug, 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 glug. That's tasty. Mm. I'm in like Taste Paradise at the moment. Bit of sandy and... Uh... So yeah, having vibes... <sighs> Vroomped. That was an extra long one. Yeah, it just took a while to warm up. Oh, you cunt. <laughs> you made it to the end though. Fuck me. <laughs> Messy. What can I say? I am a messy. Finish with the money shot. <laughs> Delicious.